the week between Christmas and New Year's. Nobody knows what day it is. I think it's Thursday. Uh, what I do know is that my son turned 13 today. And I'm still processing that. So it's me in a few days. But I am in St. Louis. And my mom bought some sublimation sheets off Etsy. Which are adorable. But here's the problem. They're cotton shirts. And this is for sublimation. So, I am learning some new things. And I wanted to jump on here and show them to you guys. I am, of course, here I'm using that brother. Scan and Cut DX230, I believe. It's the, Dis the very first Disney model. And this is the one I use at home too sometimes. But I'm scanning this in. And then look at what I've been able to do. Let's flip the camera. Okay. So here is the image on the screen. And there's my mouse. Okay. So here's the image on the screen. I'm going to see if I can try to zoom in for you guys. See the outline? I drew that. Like, so I scanned it in so I would know where to cut my glitter vinyl so I can put these on cotton shirts for her. Which, some of them have been easy, some of them have been a little bit more difficult. But I've learned a few tricks. One, over here, on the one I decided to use, Shapes. I'm also very confused because this is a PC and at home I work on a Mac. And I used little circles that I put around these hearts and did a whole bunch of them to weld with the rectangle to do this. And then here I edited points. This is what's blowing my mind. I didn't realize you could edit points on this program. I do it on Silhouette Studio all the time, but I had never been able to do it in here. So when you double click on the line, you get these tools, path editing tools. So you can add a point, subtract a point, make it sh close, open, straight, curve, and your handles. Look, hide control points. Like, you guys, so I was able, on this one, I did my circles, and did my rectangle, and I welded it, but then I needed to go around the dyno. I was able to edit the points around the dyno, and add points, I would, I added points, and curved them to get this. I am so excited. Because I was using the freehand tool, this one right here. And I was like, you know, draw, drawing slowly around it. Like, I can't draw apparently and talk at the same time and hold my phone. I'm not that mentally talented. But that's how I did some of these. But being able to edit the points makes it so much easier. And then. I'm being able to just take these and cut them out for the vinyl. And then all of a sudden, they now work on any shirt my mom has. So, to save vinyl, I'm going to just do two of this one. But got to get rid of the circle that I put in there. But I just wanted to show you that. Like, did you know you could edit points in here? I wanted to show you some of the other ones. Let's see. Like, look at this one. This one I did by... I sent this as, a, as the sublimation through the printer. And I just did a circle, a circle, circle for this part here. You know, for like this piece. And a rectangle and welded it. That was probably like the simplest one. 
Then on this one, I freehanded all of this. Look at this. So see, this will get put on there and it will be all. So, uh, I guess if you will, so, uh, I guess if you don't have a sublimation printer or you aren't a hundred percent, you guys, I didn't know this was available in this software. I'm so excited. What do you think? So tell me what next project you think I should try on the brother scanning cut. Let me know. Have a good week. It's almost 2022. I don't know how, but it is. Hey world, how are you today? All right, just wanted to show you a few more tips that I've learned while I'm in St. Louis. And, well, I have a little bit of extra time to record too. Here, let's flip it. Okay. So, my mom's is a PC, but and then the brother canvas workspace. Go to File, Import from Cutting Machine, Scanned Image. And here's the newest sublimation design that I need to do. So for this one, I'm not seeing a lot of shapes, so I'm going to just use this tool right here, the freehand one. And literally, I'm going to draw very carefully around it oops I'm cutting off its ear it's a lot harder to do this and record at the same time so as you see though when you're done drawing it kind of smooths itself out a little bit but now that I know how to edit points, I'm going to go over here to the layers tab right here and lock my image so that this is easier. But I can click and look at all my beautiful points. And I'm going to zoom in too so I can really see what I'm doing. The first thing I got to do is... Bring this one out a little bit and then bring these in and I'm guessing see that I'm guessing it's because of it being the hand drawing tool that there's so many but I delete some of those extra points it's like you just don't need them I think it goes around that a little bit better. Come in here. And I'm just smoothing it out. Okay. But see, like, all this looks pretty good, I think. I do need to connect my loop here. Oh, I have a cousin, a uh, niece interrupting me. So, um, I'll be back in just a second to finish showing you that. Either just remove them. Or use the handles, you know, to make them go whichever way I want. You can always add points in too. Or, like, here's this collection. So I can go up here and see, you know, straight or curve. And then...
curve it. So is this probably going to be perfect compared to some other ways? No. Is this going to make it so we don't have to go buy another new shirt when we already had some on hand? Yes. And why not just use what we got? So I will say as the more I do, I've gotten a little faster at it. Um, and well, I mean, it always takes me a little longer because it's a different type of computer than what I'm used to working with. So why wouldn't it? Doing that double click in so I can, you know, see what it's doing. See, it's a curve, but it doesn't look curved. So just learning where the curves are naturally happening and what handles there are, you know? And then I'll just send it like I normally do. But it works out really nice to be able to have this option when you sometimes end up with mistakes or not sure what you've done. Just wanted to share that with everybody.